Hey guys, it's Alex here, LN Gaming, and today I've got a Let's Play Lord of the Rings Part 2, Episode 2. Well, as you can see, it's fast forward a lot, and the reason is, when I was recording it, I recorded it live with Fraps, and the Fraps and my computer decided, out of my razor mic, decided let's not record my voice, but all they did was this basically this just if I upload the previous code this is all you hear so like it sounds like me flapping off but like electronically yes yeah, word so I'm just gonna explain my hatred towards my computer uh, well not my computer but Razer now I've only had this for about six months and my headset and it's the sound quality is not amazing like super amazing on it uh, the heads are comfortable around your ears, but they keep on falling off, like slipping off. If I look down, it'll just slip off, which is annoying. And also, the mic quality is not good at all. It's nowhere near good. And what they're trying to make you do is spend like the 120 pounds on um, the headset, which you know, not a lot of people have 112. Actually, people do have 120 pounds to spend, or 120 dollars. But a lot of the community and the audience to Razer are people who don't have jobs, who are under 16 or 18. And yeah, so in a minute I switch characters because I got fed up playing this dwarf guy. Uh, opinions so far on this game? This game is not that good. I mean, I don't... I don't like, I, I like the story and all, but the first mission is supposed to grasp you in, supposed to, wow, yeah, but all it is is just them spamming mobs after you and you just continue on, but what I mean by spamming mobs is, literally, they'll spam mobs about three waves and then it'll carry on. I would prefer if they did like an MMORPG like World of Warcraft or Star Wars, and, uh, or they did another Lord of the Rings uh, Battle Middle Earth 3, that would be, what, well, another Lord of the Rings Battle Middle Earth, and it should be free. Well, Lord of the Rings Battle Middle Earth 3. There we go. That would be amazing. I was waiting so long for Battle Middle Earth 3 to come out. And then this came out, Worn Off. I thought Worn Off would be another Lord of the Rings Battle Middle Earth 3. But, um, sadly mistaken. And, yeah. And we have to cope. Um, if you're not a big fan of Lord of the Rings, you're not a big fan of, um, what else? You know, like Lord of the Rings quest games. Then you shouldn't get this game. Not no, no one's online on PC, and it's so predictable what happens. These two people you just see now, they always run away, and as soon as you finish the battle, they open the gate or they open, or they just help you and kill them one monster, which is really not. Why didn't they come at the beginning of the fight? But uh, yeah, if you don't like Lord of the Rings series, then don't get this game. Also, if you prefer Lord of the Rings. Um, Battle Earth, then don't get this game. It's nothing like it. It's nothing like an MMORPG. It's not free roam. I wish it was free roam, but like it's restricted to do one thing. So as soon as you complete it, I hate these type of games. As soon as you complete it, you're not going to go through like this game again. It's pointless. It's, it's not that fun. Unless you've got like three people, then I say it's alright at minimum if you go with three people. But this is the first mission. Um, I'm going to include it after I've finished playing the game, but still, it, you've, I've played the game, and it doesn't gr grasp me in. The first level, you know, it's supposed to grasp you in, like, oh my god, I want to play next. And if there's another war off, let's say it's war off 2, or war in the south, or war in the east, or war in the west, then, you know, you want to go out and wait for it, buy it, you get anticipated to see the next trailer, but if it's like this, the next Lord of the Rings, there's no chance, I'm not going to get it, but wor it's not worth £25, it's like one of them £15, £10 games, or $15, $10 games, I don't think it's worth £25, or when it first came out, £40, I think it's quite a rip-off for them to charge it that much, but because it has Lord of the Rings in the name, of course it's going to be that, and I think I over-anticipated, I, I really did, I was hoping it to be so good, I was hoping it to be, um, I can't remember, it's like the Lord of the Rings and the PS2, it's Rise of the King, um, Rise of the King. It was about the third movie. That game was awesome. That was an awesome game. But compared to this, 
this game is sham bollocks. But if you're new to the Lord of the Rings, then get it. it all means get it because you won't compare it to anything. But as you like, I'm a player of PS2 and PS1 who had Lord of the Rings on it. Um, you got to compare it. It's just you know not that good compared to it. It didn't grip me in the first mission. The first mission actually made me really fucking bored. It made me so bored. The first mission it was unbelievable. And I think it gets more gameplay. It's just, you know, a fuck around basically. It's just the same thing over and over again. And it's not it's not really that much a storyline like compared to other games I've played. And compared to other Lord of the Rings I've played, this doesn't get you on the edge of your seat. This doesn't get you, you know, up and going, etc. This kit it takes you ages to kill someone. Ages to kill someone. It wasn't like the previous Lord of the Rings which we all loved and etc. It's like loads of bugs in it. It's don't get me wrong. The creators of the game were going the right way. The creators of the game were quite good, but they for a Lord of the Rings like genre, the voice acting's poor, the storyline's poor, um, free people that's poor. I thought you can create your own class, which is well not create your own class, but create your own uh, person. You don't, which is poor. Um, you know you can't go through bushes, which piss me off. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, you're limited to what attacks you do. And unless the game progresses to get better, then I'm, I'm not going to be able to complete it, because it's not the best of games out there, and it's not, like, a lot of people say, well, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be more in the north, and it's got different, you know, uh, developers on it. Well, you want to beat the previous games, and PS2 games came out, like, seven years, five, seven years ago. And that's what pissed me off here. Let's go, they put rounds or rounds. Why didn't you do like, oh, let me climb up here and uh, um, or let me go this route and go across. Defend me while I go across. Something like that. Or I have to go across killing some mobs in a way where they attack down here. Something of that, you know, area. But not this boring, oh, let's defend the bridge for about five minutes. Let three rounds go across. And be and bored as fuck, and then straight at the end, two them two people come across. They didn't really use their imagination that much, but yeah, the tab powers isn't it's so limited. It was, as well, it takes ages to kill someone, which I don't. You know, it's all right if it's supposed to be real life, but it isn't. I, mean, I do. It takes like eight swings to kill someone. Which I've, I wish there's a game where it just takes like one or two, maximum four swings. Dependent on the size to kill them. I think that'd be awesome. And the video is nearing to the end here. And I'm just gonna go into the Shire. I'm going to the Shire for oh, let's go over here. This might be fun. And no, I don't know how to get back. So this me, Alan Gaming, Alex here, signing off. Please subscribe, like, and comment. If you have watched to the end of this video, I'll give you a cookie.